table for an exponential function. The function h is defined by the following rule. h of x equals 1 sixth to the x power. Find h of x for each x value in the table. So when we are dealing with functions and we have an equation, um, the x's are the inputs, the function values or the h of x values are are just our y values. <clears throat> so we can think of this as our x values and our y values. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute each of these x values into this equation for x. Okay? The x's are the inputs. They go into the function here. So if I wanted to um, evaluate the function h at negative 1, I'm putting negative 1 into the function in place of the x. So that would give me 1 sixth to the negative 1 power. And remember, negative exponents mean that we flip the fraction um, or write the reciprocal. So this would be 6, right? 1 sixth flipped over would be 6 over 1, or just 6, to the positive 1, okay, and which would be just 6. So this first value right here is 6. Okay, then I do 0. So the function evaluated at 0 would be 1 sixth to the 0 power, and a 0 exponent, remember, always gives us a value of 1. So that's just to the 1, okay? H evaluated at 1, so now we're going to substitute 1 in for x. So 1 6 to the first power, well anything to the first power is just itself, so this is 1 6. Um, now we're going to substitute 2, so the function evaluated for x equals 2 is 1 sixth. This time my exponent is 2, so 1 sixth squared, which is 1 sixth, times 1 sixth, which is 1 thirty sixth. Okay, and then my last one, the function evaluated at 3, or h of 3, would be 1 sixth cubed. Okay, and following this example would be 1 sixth times 1 sixth times 1 sixth, sixth, excuse me, or 1 times 1 times 1 times 6 times 6 times 6, right? Using our, our um, power to a power rule, I can take this exponent out here and apply it to numerator and denominator inside, which would be 1 over and 6 times 6 times 6, or 6 to the third gives us 216. And there we have it.